Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today I'm going to talk about the biggest mystery of DAX measures. Sometimes if you wonder why you DAX measure are showing wrong results, then this is probably because of this. If you are new here, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Here I have four measures, total quantity 1, 2 and 3 are showing same results, but total quantity 4 is not. I will show you the expressions, but let me show you the data set first. Here I have four products, and then here I have the sales table, which is products, quantity sold, and date. Both are connected with one-to-many relationship based on product. Now, let us look into the measure expressions. The first measure expression is just the sum of total quantity. It is calculating as expected. The second one is using an iterator function, which is iterating over sales table, and in summing up the quantity, it is also calculating the quantity correctly. My third measure is same as second, but this time it is using the total quantity one measure to iterate over sales table and in sum. Total quantity one measure is just sum of quantity sold column. All these measures are showing same results, but what happened with total quantity four measure? This measure is using sum of total quantity column and iterating over sales table, and it is calculating different results for each product and even a grand total. But wait, why is this happening here? Isn't the total quantity three measure is similar to this? My total quantity three measure was using a DAX measure total quantity one, which has the same expression, which is sum of quantity sold, and I am using the same here. And at this point, let me tell you about a concept called context transition, but we'll dig into it a little more. Let me keep only two similar measures and then add the date column here. What is this happening? Now this measure is calculating correctly for each row, but total is still wrong. I will add a slicer and will select product one and see. The total, which is 5,160, is nothing but the total quantity of product one, which is 860 multiplied by six, which is the number of rows for sales table. Let me select product two. You might be thinking, here it is calculating 490 multiplied by five, but no, here again, it will calculate 490 into six. Context transition is an operation where a row context gets converted into an equivalent filter context. But wait again, I know about this. And I also know that calculate of calculate table does this job. But I don't have calculate function in my measure. And here is the mystery, which is a measure always having a hidden calculate. And even if you write sum of total quantity, for a DAX measure, it is actually sum of total quantity under calculate function to do the context transition, which will bring only sum of quantity on entire filter context. While the table argument inside sum X has an outer filter context of product, but will at the absence of calculate on naked expression of sum of quantity was the issue here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting solutions in Power BI.